Hey, good morning, my friends. I'm live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa here with your M Live Morning Weather Update. Sorry, a little bit late today, but we got a lot to talk about. First off, um, we'll look at the temperatures from last night. Some spots freezing, near freezing temperatures. And that cloud bank came in off of Lake Huron on Saginaw Bay. I looked at that yesterday with you, and uh, modeling did a very good job at portraying where that warmer air would be. You'll see that exactly on the map. So I think you'll get a, a nice bit of info out of that. We have some great weather, and I'm pegging part of it on the remnants of what was Hurricane Ian, now Tropical Storm Ian, and uh, I'll show you why there, and we'll look at the extended term into the weekend, and I'll give you a hurricane update. And by the way, we haven't seen our house yet um, in the Cape Hayes, Florida area, but me as a meteorologist feeling very relieved. The eye traveled about 20 miles, the center of the eye traveled about 20 miles south of our house, so it kept us in an east wind, kept the water going out into the ocean instead of coming in. And I do feel for those of you that have any uh, home or family or friends in the Fort Myers area, uh, as that bore the brunt uh, Fort Myers to Naples. So we'll look at that uh, too. I'm waiting for someone to communicate with me and go into my home and see what it's like. I'm pretty sure it's still standing. I just don't know if the 12 inches of rain decided to come up under the roof or anything like that. So, uh, But everybody is healthy in my family. We were not there, and the house is still standing, and we'll feel for the folks that um, really had devastation. So let's start off, look at the cloud bank. And then when I show you the low temperatures this morning, you will see that the warmth that a cloud bank can create or at least hold the temperatures up some. So just focus on Thumb into Saginaw area, Central Michigan, Alma, down in the southwest. And that, that basically low cloud fog bank will be dissipating in the next couple of hours and you'll get into the sunshine. So here are the temperatures uh, from the coldest spot of this morning. And you could see that the, the freeze advisory was issued for the northern half of the state. Mackenzie McDowell, I have a wedding to go to Roscommon Saturday. The weather looks great. If you like 60s to near 70 degrees and sunshine in the afternoons, take take the shawl for the evening because it gets cooler now. So um, upper 20s, low 30s, northern half of lower. But then as you get the clouds held Grand Rapids up into the 40s, uh, Saginaw Bay City into the 40s and everywhere southward. So basically take a line from about Big Rapids to, oh, let's call it Claire, Rosebush, north of Mount Pleasant, uh, up to, oh, maybe Tawas and points northward. And that's where you had the frost and or freezing temperatures. The rest of us, the growing season continues on. All right, now into the future. Great stretch of weather coming. Look out to the west and you could see the clear skies and not much in the way of storm activity. So let's get into that right now. Okay. Hey, Rob Moore, going up north, and it's going to be great. Thank you. You're welcome. Have yourselves a good time. Uh, okay. So, let's look into the future. So, we have a high pressure center right over us this morning. That's calm conditions, lots of sunshine. Once fog burns off in your area, Oh, and this is Friday. Beautiful. You could see the rain shield from probably what will still be Tropical Storm Ian at that point. And then we go to Saturday afternoon and beautiful weather. We may start to get a little bit of an increased northeast wind on Saturday um, just because of the circulation around the storm system that was Ian. And Sunday also, you can see, see how the pressure lines pack together. There's one, two, three, four, 
five of them in lower Michigan. And my rule of thumb usually is five mile an hour gust for every one of those isobars. So you're talking about 25 to 30 mile an hour winds off of Lake Huron at points on Sunday. So, you know, breezy. The thermometer might look pretty good, but you could have a chilly breeze. So, but Sunday's dry, sunny and breezy. Monday dry, Tuesday dry, Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. That's a cold front coming through. And then we go back to uh, colder temperatures for Thursday. And then the high next high pressure builds in Friday of next week. And we go back to a southwesterly wind ahead of another cold front. So the cold fronts are going to start to come uh, more often now, every three or four days. And the warm days in between are going to start to squeeze down from three to two to one. But still for fall, some great weather on the way. I don't want to portray, I don't want to portray summer type weather, but comfortable roam about the great state of Michigan. Um, which, by the way, one of my buddies, uh, Chuck Harrington, uh, roofer out of Vassar, we were talking and um, he says, boy, this is why I like Michigan. Very isolated from huge natural disasters. Earthquakes, I couldn't handle that. Unpredictable. You know, you're standing in a building and the building crumbles. Uh -uh, I couldn't handle that. You know, hurricanes are bad, but predictable in a sense that you're going to know they're coming a few days in advance. Tornadoes, even predictable. And we do have those in Michigan and they can sneak up on us in a matter of minutes. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, Michigan is one of the safest natural disaster places to live. Uh, Karen Wenzel, how does it look for Fenton's homecoming game this Friday? It looks fantastic, dry. It will cool off in the evening, drop down into the 50s pretty quickly. All right, let's look at the temperatures. So today we'll make it to 60. Tomorrow, 65-ish. Uh, Saturday, upper 60s to near 70. Sunday might be indicating that northeast wind starting to grab maybe what's slightly cooler water on Lake Huron coming into northeast lower. And then uh, Monday, looking at 60s, Tuesday, 60s, Wednesday into the 60s. And then Thursday and Friday, we will cool down behind that cold front and start to rebound after that. And as far as frost goes, um, yeah, maybe, maybe a frost, light scattered frost tomorrow morning in places in the Lansing area, Jackson, uh, but probably not in the southern half of lower Michigan. And then with the warmer temperatures, we'd be off and running for several days to not have to worry about that. All right, let's look at the extended forecast. I'll try to fit both of these in here for you. Then we're going <laughs> to, Larry Pusker, our only natural disaster is the Detroit Lions. Agreed, 110%. Uh, so. 6 to 10 day forecast, normal temperatures. 8 to 14 day forecast, uh, high chance of a boat of warmer than normal conditions and uh, drier than normal conditions. So you're looking at October 6 to 12th there. That would be with our cooler nights coming on, that would be a time period where we would probably be nearing or at peak fall color in the UP, maybe inland areas of northern lower Michigan. So we could have a, co a, uh, a combination of some stellar fall viewing. Um, and then a three to four week forecast, October 8th to 21st, warmer than normal and drier than normal. And that's when leaves would be peaking across Michigan. Uh, are we talking a very stellar Fall color season in Michigan, shaping up to be possibly that. Why? What do we have to have? We have to have all of the trees holding their leaves at the same time, so not out of sync. Uh, we need to have the lack of a big wind rain system. That usually drags the leaves off the trees just about as we're peaking. 
So if we get into a dry, warm pattern, we're going to have pretty good fall color season. That's what I'm watching for there. All right, let's get into um, the remnants, or now still Tropical Storm, Ian. Let me get back to that for you. Uh, okay, so it's Tropical Storm. It's off the east coast of Florida now, and it's expected to uh, come back up into South Carolina. Still in Tropical Storm status at that point. Tropical Storm, remember, means sustained winds of 39 miles an hour to 73 miles an hour. Um, so it's a nasty storm, but it's, you know, houses that are recently built in the last couple of decades are made to withstand something like that. And uh, let me give you a little bit more of the path on it. And it comes up into Virginia and then will drift toward the northeast and not bring rain or clouds to Michigan. What it does for us is it brings that northeast wind, like I said, in on, on uh, Sunday. Um, so a little bit more about the, uh, Hey, hola, Chris Uline. Uh, just starting to see some color on the, on the former Wixom Lake former, meaning that's the one where the, uh, dam broke, um, at Sanford and another one and drained the two lakes. So that's what they're referring to. If you're not sure. Uh, so. Great stretch of weather coming here in Michigan. Hopefully your family and friends uh, made it through the hurricane in the south half of Florida. And my wife and I are in the waiting game. We're waiting for our property manager to uh, contact us and let us know. Uh, my last communication with him was before 12 inches of rain in four hours was falling on his house in Inglewood. And his last communication was that he had lost part of his roof uh, and edge of it and the lanai ceiling had rain pouring down through it and had collapsed so there are a lot of stories like that um let's see valerie how do the temps and fall foliage look for mackinac island this upcoming weekend no not this upcoming weekend the temps look great um it's barely any change in many places just yet so Mackinac, Mackinac Island, you're probably two weeks away from a lot of color, I would say. Hey, good morning, Wendy from Ann Arbor. Um, oh, I don't predict football. <laughs> Weather is hard enough to predict. I'm not an expert in predicting football games. All I can predict is the Cubs will probably lose uh or stink it up and the lion <laughs> the lions will lose so take care thanks for joining me on the mlive morning weather update i'll see you back here tomorrow as we'll head it on into the weekend take care i'm mlive chief meteorologist mark torregrosa